discs or CDs, mobile phones, TV, and email on their way out. And are cars becoming less attractive? Well, for CDs and the only non-smart cell phone, you may say yes. But for email, no more TV, and especially the all-important car, you just might disagree. But that's what a series of studies on Generation Y is pointing to. Gen Y, or those born from 1980 to 1999, are also known as the Millennial Generation, Generation Next, or even the Net Generation, which has proven to be a significant consumer group, not just in the United States, but across the globe. U.S. research agencies studying this group's purchasing behavior have come up with a list of eight popular products or things that this generation is gradually spurning. You'll likely be surprised to hear that, according to market research firm Gartner, Generation Y prefers to have the internet than to own a car. The U.S. Highways Management Office actually says there's a trend in which general wires are not rushing to obtain a driving license. The percentage of young people going for a license has dropped from 64 to 46 percent. Also, music CDs had a market share of as much as 90 percent, but in 2010, this figure plunged by more than 50 percent simply because the net generation is getting most, if not all, their music online. Likewise, this generation has dumped the only mobile phone and off for smartphones on which they can listen to music, watch videos, and snap photos instead of just using the device to call friends and family. Meanwhile, top research agency Nielsen found that Generation Y watches less TV than any other age group. Generation Y spent less than 24 hours per week in front of the so-called idiot box, compared to 32.5 hours spent on average by other groups. But that's because Generation Y are a net generation, so they prefer to watch TV online. Pew Research Center found that 70% of Gen Y possess notebooks, while just 57% own PCs. Why, according to the U.S. Health Statistics Office, 51% of this generation had wireless phones in 2010. As for printed newspapers, it will come as no great shock that a mere 7% of the net generation reads papers because they have quick and free access to information through social media such as Facebook, Twitter, and MySpace. <coughs> well, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg was correct when he predicted the decline of email because it's way too slow and too official. Email used by the net generation, according to studies, has dropped by a massive 59%. Studies have also found that Gen Y prefer to take a swig of light beer than normal beer, while cigarette smoking has fallen by 17.6% among this group a drop which is more than any other group. Lastly, surprise, surprise, Generation Yers don't truly rebel against their parents, unlike prior generations, as the net generation often enjoys the same music, movies, and products as their parents. Hard to believe, isn't it? Generation Y has also been described in a New York Times article as entrepreneurial, and a post-emotional generation without anger, edge, or ego. One item conspicuous by its absence is the iPad or computer tablet, which none of the research agencies have highlighted in their studies on Generation Y. Apple's late tech icon Steve Jobs envisioned the iPad as the future. Well, seeing the way it's being snapped up around the globe, we can safely say it will be a popular, if not hot, item with Gen Y or the net generation.